What's good, Melanin Mafia? It's your favorite Melanin Queen back on the muck and scene. <laughs> up y'all so i am doing this video today um reading like some of my old like love letters and stuff like that that i received um these are like so old i don't know why i kept them but that's just the type of person i am i just keep certain things or whatever um so i kept them in like this little old um shoe box right so this is like my little brother's um my youngest brother's i think box of shoes when he was a baby and I just always just put the, the letters and stuff like that in it. Um, yeah, so I'm about to, like, I haven't looked at these things in, like, years. Like, I don't even know the last time I looked at these things. Um, but, yeah, so we're about to open it and go through it and read some letters. Before I get started, though, um, Houston, I am coming to you. Virginia, I am on my way to VA also. Um, so if y'all are from Houston, let me know some things to do, places to go. I already got a couple things in mind, um, places to eat, because she likes to eat. But um, yeah, so let me know. All right, so I'm gonna get into this. Oh my God. Well, this is like a card. OMG, it says from Antonio. That means this is from high school. in years I don't even know this is a little racy this is um some notes <laughs> this is crazy um oh goodness I don't know if I want to read that one that is crazy this I think this is this is definitely in class passing notes back and forth and uh okay we I, 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 oh my goodness oh my goodness okay oh my goodness Lordy who drew this I don't even remember who drew this, but this is from high school. This is like a, a dude I dated in high school. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. And I don't know, what is this? Like, why is there so many pages? It's no way I can read all this stuff because this is like pages and pages and pages. And like y'all remember back in the day when you put like your mood and chill it, your mood and the song you're listening to and all that. I don't know if y'all can see that. Girl. I don't know what I, I'm four minutes in and I haven't read anything. This is too much. I don't know what I was thinking when I said I was going to read this stuff. Um, This one is funny. This is from, uh, this is... From my secret lover. How do you a secret lover? It says, Dear Carlita from Secret Admirer. Admirer, it says actually. Um, I find you very attractive. Have you noticed me? Of course not. You don't know who I am. Can I have your phone number if possible? Can I have you? I find you so pretty and charming. You are so nice to me in Tom's class and at lunch break. I am on the same lunch schedule as you. The only difference between the two of us is that I'm a junior and you're a freshman. Do you like new addition? If so, I want to take you. I will write you later, cutie pie. P.S. You're so cute. <laughs> I ended up finding out who that was later on. Um, I 
don't even know who this is from. Oh, Anton, okay. So this is from another dude, uh, my freshman year of um, high school. Uh, it says, Dear Carlita, right now I'm confused about a lot of things. First of all, I don't know if I can take any more of your silent treatment. It seems you want nothing to do with me except when you want me to buy you stuff. <laughs> Tried me. Oh, I gave you the tape in hopes that we would talk again like we used to, but after I gave you the tape, you seemed to dislike me more. What did I do to you for you to act like this? If I did anything, I'm sorry. Second, I don't know if I should continue trying to get with you. You act like you are scared of me and you don't want, oh, you don't want around you no more. Look, I would do anything to get with you, but it would be all, but it would all be worth nothing if you didn't care and I don't get with you. We might already been together if I wasn't afraid of talking to girls. That's why I never tried to get your number before or asked to go with you in person. I did not want to mistake your kindness for liking me. That has happened to me before and I did not want to get hurt again. Right now I'm feeling pain on the inside, which is killing me. You are the only one I want to be with. But if you found someone else, just, just tell me so I can stop this. If you are not talking to anyone else, give me a chance. You are like my beautiful rose, full of life in a garden, full of dead flowers. And I don't want to lose you. Oh my God. Um, just tell me what you want. You are a once in a lifetime opportunity to me. If you are afraid of your mom, don't be. Don't let her tell you <laughs> what to think. Uh, when I asked you to go with me, I was expecting a decision that came from your heart, not from your mom. If you are afraid of our age difference, don't be. To me, you are 14 going on 17. You are more mature than people older than me. You are a beautiful, smart young woman and you know what you are doing. I'm, I'm going to give this one last try. Carlita, May I have your honor, may I have the honor of going with you. Making you happy would make me happy. Use your heart as your guide to your answer. The true feeling like I have for you never lies. You can't understand love unless you give it a try. Oh, remember, I love you and I always will. That's straight from my heart. So tell me so tell me some answers so I can rest my mind. Oh, MD. So he was a senior and I was a freshman. And he was, you know, trying to hook up with me or whatever, trying to date me or whatever. And, you know, my mom was like, he's a senior. Um, but she would let me talk to him, but he, and he was like really nice and really quiet, but he was like really, um, awkward a little bit too, but, um, I'm just not the type of person to like push somebody away cause they're like a little different or whatever. But yeah, I just, it was weird. Uh, yeah, that's crazy. That is crazy. That's from freshman year of high school. Um. This looks like a note. I don't, even, I don't even understand this. I should have looked through this stuff and picked out some stuff. Let me see. Okay, so let me read one of these. So this is like um, one of my homeboys. He's like my homeboy um, now. He had a crush on me in middle school. And uh, he was a bad kid. He used to get like locked up and stuff like that or whatever. He would like write me. So a couple of these are like from him when he would get locked up and stuff. Um... And, uh, yeah, so let me read this. Uh, dear Carlita, what's up, Carlita? I thought you you said I won't go into right you. you. You thinking about me? You probably think, um, about that other, what? You probably thinking about that other boy. If you is messing with somebody else, stop. You don't need them no more. You got me. I'll be there for you anytime you need me. You know my number. If you don't, it's da 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 I'm going to call you and conversate with you anyways because you my girl but I ain't trying to get my feelings hurt just keep it real and I'll, and I'll do the same I know I said I was going to do a lot of things and never did it but that's in the past this is now I'm, I ain't gonna never lie to you or cheat on you and I hope that you won't either I hope, you, I hope we keep things tight because I really like you but if you don't like the way things work out just speak up and say something to me about it I just don't play no childish games because I'm not going to by the way happy birthday Write me back and let me know you you feel how you feel. Here's a picture of a little funny looking picture thing. Spell my name wrong. Definitely spell my name wrong. This is crazy. Just... Actually, these letters are not for when he was locked up. This is, was his address? I don't know. So what, I know I thought I had letters for when he was locked up. Oh my goodness, yo, I have old phone numbers, like random people that gave me their numbers. Why do I have this stuff? Oh my goodness, look at this. Biscuit, Ray, 
Boom, I got the napkins. I used to work at Papa John's, right? So, and I was at the front desk or whatever, not the front desk, at the front counter or whatever. And you know, dudes come in to pick up their, um, this is crazy, pick up their um, pizzas and would try to holler at me and stuff. OMG, yes. Y'all can't see this. It says uh, Jerome, it's got his number, his pager number, his work number. It says, yes, I have a job. 3 and 11, I will be at work. You can call me. This. That's another one from Thomas. OMG. All these numbers. All of these are numbers. This is crazy. Y'all, I went through hell and high water trying to find this box because I thought it was in one location and it wasn't in there. And I'm like, y'all, I know I didn't throw this box away. So I had to go through my storage closet, like literally. I went through it twice because I looked through it and then I didn't look through all the boxes and I was like, okay, this is going to drive me crazy. I looked through everything in, in the apartment. I'm like, it's, where is this box? So I literally went through like all my boxes in my storage closet to find this, this freaking thing. Um, who is this? Oh goodness, a dude named James. This is in high school. Said the reason I'm not coming to your party is because I don't like to spend time with you around a lot of people. I'd rather for it to be me and you, just the two of us. Let me know when you want to go out again. Lordy, ciao, James. Jeez. <laughs> what is this, y'all? These are letters. These things are long. Um, this is some more passing notes in class. Why did I keep this? Oh my goodness, this is crazy. I'm gonna read a snippet of them. This is juicy, this is a girl, this is an ex. It says, uh, she wrote for me first, she said, can I touch it? <laughs> I said, do you want to touch it? If you want to touch it, say you want to touch it. She said, um, no, nah, do you want me to rub it? And if <laughs> I feel like I'm black. And if and if so, how do you want me to do it? Yeah, I want you to rub it now. I want to feel your hands on me. OMG. Then she said, open your legs so I can uh, caress the kid. <laughs> oh my goodness, if you look close, my legs are already open. Oh. I said, do you want me to feel on it? I said, yeah, I want you to rub it. And what else do you want me to do to it? I said, what else you want to do to it? Whatever you want me to do, I will do it. So what do you want? Uh, it's too much. It's too much. Oh, my goodness. That is... What is going on here? You want me to lick? I said, yeah, I want you to lick it. How you want? Lick it, caress your lips, lick. Oh, I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I gotta sit and read through all of these without you guys here. Without you all in my business. Oh, let me stop. What is this? I don't even know who this is from. It says, Dear Carlina, what I have been trying to say all day is that I love you. You are special to me and I don't want to lose you. I know that sometimes I have to say stupid things, but that what you do to me. I never felt this way about anyone. I found out a way that we could go together and I'll tell you that later. You are so beautiful that I would be a fool to never I don't know, I'm gonna stop. This is Ant that's this is Antonio. That that was from Antonio, freshman year. High school. What is this? Oh my goodness. Oh goodness, this is more from Antonio. He said last night I Last night, I did not get to say all I wanted to say. The real reason I like you is that you are the kind of woman I dig. You are everything I dig in a girl, all into one beautiful, smart young lady. It's all right that you have the same feelings that I have for you. Also, can you say no to going? Also, you can say no to going with me. At least I tried. But if you didn't, making up your mind, get give me a a try. Everything I said yesterday, I meant please respond to this letter. Say what your answer is or something. Do it before the end of the month. Your friend, Antonio, how about you make up your mind before 12 p.m. Eastern, March 1st, 1997. Uh, That's crazy. It's youngest from 97. Oh, goodness. Antonio 
Antonio was a senior and I was a freshman, right? So this is a note. I think my aunt wrote this note because my aunt and my mom didn't like him because he was so much older. Um, so my aunt wrote this note. Look at this. In March, March 30th, 1997. This is crazy. It says, Antonio, it was very disturbing to me that you, a 17-year-old, would write such letters to my 14-year-old niece. She's too young for dating, although she is a mature, smart young lady. If she was dating, you are entirely too old. Three, um, to tell her to ignore her mother and go with you regardless is telling her to disobey not only her mom, but God. Four, although you are 17, your spelling is like a six-year-old, so you could oh, you should concentrate on spelling instead of girls. Number five, if you, uh, if you continue to write her about going with her uh, something boyfriend, then we, her family, will find it necessary to take further steps to stop this harassment, and we will, oh my goodness, we will start speaking with your school principal, counselor, etc., if this uh, doesn't solve the problem, we'll let a judge des decide for you. O-M-G. I don't even remember, like, how did I, my, where did they even get involved in all of that? Like, I don't remember that, but that's crazy. That's nothing. More notes in class, oh my goodness. little risque it says man I was just thinking about last night this is me um I was just thinking about last night when you was like you want to ride don't you man you asked that like you was a, a ride or something like you was about to go somewhere and asking me do I want to ride said you didn't this is her response uh you crazy man because you be taking forever to come when I'm on top of you <laughs> it'd be so hot and I know you will come quicker if you are in control because you know what motion feel good to you and I get to touch on you more that way OMG Alrighty. Oh my God, this is more from Antonio. I'm not reading all of this. He was like really, really into me. He was a nice dude. I just, this is crazy to look through all of this old stuff. Like, oh my goodness. Let me read. This one is from um, this dude, right? That um, was like a friend of an ex. And he had like his biggest crush on me or whatever. So he was trying to holler at me. Now this is for sure in a from in jail power tan correctional uh center reception but yeah and he wrote me uh when i was in college this is too long i'm not about to read all of this but i already talked about it i've been going on my end just trying to hold it down do you feel me it's hard because we stay locked down 22 hours a day and all a brother can do is stress but i'm feeling but i'm still fighting i suppose to get out may uh second 2006 but i might get out before then and i will be great i will be gravely but I want to tell you that I'm feeling you, but I don't think you are feeling me the same way. And I also want to tell you that my child mother uh, wants to give me another shot to be in my little girl life and that and hers. And she wants me to move up there when I get out, like I told you. Uh, like I told you. Okay. Oh, goodness. I, I, I'm not, I don't play games like that. Carlita, I want you to know that you have a special place in my heart and it'll always be there because it's not guaranteed this is going to work between me and Ashley. Oh, goodness. Yeah. So that's that. Um, Yeah, so let me know if you guys want me to read some more of my... I read some of those racy ones, but let me know if y'all want... Some of these other ones because this video is getting long so i'll catch y'all in the next one make sure you guys like comment subscribe and um turn on your post notifications and let me know if you want to read some more of my old love letters and i'll catch y'all in the next one Mwah.